sure if he had his brothers, he'd do it all over again and do it quite differently. Simdor out to the 45, just shy of the first down. And keep in mind, North Dakota State in their last seven ball games have scored a touchdown the final two now minutes of the first down and nine. Alucci, he's got pressure, gets away from it. And that ball is picked off by Chris Straup. And they are going to rule it an incomplete pass. Straup took it to the turf that time. In and out of the hands of Chris Straup. And there's Todd Wash out of Newtown, North Dakota. He can bring the heat on the QB. Third down and 10. Wash again. The screen. Begley. He's not going to get away. That's Rob Greenwood making the stop from his linebacker position. A big third down play for North Dakota State's Division defense. Two football in the 1980s. Championships in 83, 85, 86, 88, and trying to start the new decade with a championship here today. This is Chris Simdorn, and Simdorn brings it out across as a loose football. And I believe Simdorn got it out of bounds in time, but he just coughed it up there across the 20-yard line. Great block that time by number 84, the tight end, Dan Gettle. Did he seal off the inside in a big way? That allowed Simi to get to the uh, alley, and he did fumble, but he just fell on the fumble. Very fortunate there. That would have been a costly turn. You can turn your way out of the hole, or you can run your way out. Boy, that was a quick one, all the way out to the 24-yard line. That's Cahill in motion. On first down. Tony Satter, big hole. He's dangerous. He's got a blocker. Satter. They've got the angle on him. Only one man can catch him, and running him down is Sean McCaskill. And quickly, the Bison get that field position back. Longest run of the day for either Rose ball. in on 100 yards on the afternoon. Simdorn across the 30. Simdorn breaking tackles down inside the 20-yard line. From the 16-yard line. The blitz was on. This is Satter in the alley. Makes the move. They're going to two tight ends here. First and goal. Mark Hansen. He's got a block. He has got a touchdown for North Dakota State. NDSU looking for its third national championship in five years, its fifth national championship in eight years. Marty C. First down, North Dakota State inside the Indian 50-yard line down to the 48. Out of two tight ends, they run the dive play and get the first down. The offensive line starting to be a big factor for the Bison. Sindorn, big hole. He could go. This will be a foot race to the goal line. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Harlan Hill winner just went 46 yards for a touchdown, and NDSU leads it 26 to 11. Alucci again. Wash is chasing him down, and he's not going to get it away. And Todd Wash out of Newtown, North Dakota, runs down Tony Alucci at the 37-yard line, and they lose yardage on that one. You IUP fans may be shocked. Todd Wash was a quarterback in high school. You know, that reminds me of a game when North Dakota State was on the West Coast several years ago against Cal Davis when it was an outside linebacker named Chris Broom running oh, yeah. down the Cal Davis quarterback. NDSU's philosophy is all their best athletes go on defense. Bison will give IUP a lot of the same old, same old option football, and they'll just try and eat some time off the clock. Simdorn is a magician. He watches that, sh that play clock concentrates on it he waits for that clock to get down to about five inside five seconds he'll use as much of the clock as he can now on these on these possessions 
He's got T.R. McDonald wide open. McDonald's got speed. This could be a touchdown. It is. North Dakota State from 76 yards out has struck. Third down and five. And KBL in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hooking up with the Division II Championship Network today. Todd Wash, his second sack on the afternoon. They have not protected Alucci well on the weak side all day long. They have really been able to get some pressure on it. You know, many people thought that the North Central Conference was down this year, that NCC football was not what it was in past years. About the middle of the year, the Bison were 5-0. and oh. They seemed to be struggling, and Rocky went to the air more, and it, all of a sudden it separated the Bison from the rest of the field. Gettle is wide open again. Gettle, he could go. He's got one man to beat. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Another touchdown pass from 56 yards out. Chris Simdorn has thrown his third touchdown on the day. Unbelievable. Chris Simdorn has accounted for five touchdowns today in Frank Signetti's football team. Their secondary is in disarray right now. What a great moment for Gettle and Simdorn. A couple of seniors who've been through the battle, the wars at NDSU. Lawrence, Alabama, but the big play has really hurt the Indians. Adam Grovich. And he's not going anywhere. Phil Hansen, the All-American defensive tackle, making the stop out of Oaks, North Dakota. Rocky, by the way, is a nickname for you IUP fans. His real name is Ralph Earl Hager. Had to call him Rocky because his grandfather was called Ralph, and every time they called Ralph, two guys used to show up. Look at Tony Satter. He is unbelievable. Tony Satter breaking tackles. An incredible run for the Bison Senior. Touchdown, North Dakota State. When the locusts come, they eat everything. His popularity won't be hurt one bit after today's performance. Fegley at his own 20-yard line. Man, Phil Hansen, maybe a yard. Hansen, a football player who did not touch a weight in his life until he got to NDSU. He was just big old farm boy throwing hay around, and then they brought him in there. Played football at Oaks. Never once did they work on a defensive play. They just said, line up here and play. Run to the ball. He said, we got killed on reverses and counters. He came to North Dakota State, Earl Solomonson said he's going to be a great one. We just got to teach him the game. 